All right, one-to-one -one functions in the last section in Chapter 3, 3.7 in Trig. I'm um, going to just take a look at some examples. So find the inverse. So to find the inverse and see if it's one-to-one, -one, um, to find the inverse, I add 2 to both sides. I divide by 3, and I end up getting x equals y plus 2 over 3. You're just solving for x, no problem. So, all right, there's the inverse. Prove if it's one-to-one. -one, I have to plug them both in to see if they're one to one. So I take that and plug that one in. Then I take this one and plug that in. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but I'm going to plug all that in first. I realize that the three on the top and the bottom cancel right out, so I get y plus two minus two. And the plus two minus two cancels, so I get y equals y. So I'm off to a good start. Then I'm going to take this and plug that in to here, which is what I'm doing. So it's 3x minus 2 plus 2 over 3. So negative 2 plus 2, so I get 3x over 3 equals x. Divide by 3. I get x equals x. Since that works on both, it's correct. It works. So yes, they are 1 to 1, and they are. Um, that is the inverse. So um, find the inverse and see if it's 1 to 1, so I have the square root of 3 minus x, so to get rid of that I would square both sides, so I get y squared equals 3 minus x, I'd minus 3, um, and then I would divide by negative 1, so I'd get a negative y squared plus 3 equals x, so now I have to see if it's 1 to 1. So those are my two functions, I'm going to take all of this and plug it in for x. So when I do that, a negative has to go through to both items. So I end up with 3 plus y squared minus 3. 3 minus 3 cancels out, and the square root of square cancels out. So, so far, so good. Then I'm going to take this and plug, or sorry, I'm going to take this and plug that all in for y. So square root of a square cancels. So I really have a negative times 3 minus x, so I take that negative through. The negative and the positive 3 cancel, so I get x equals x. So it happens to be 1 to 1, and the inverse is that right there. So yes, it is 1 to 1. So the actual uh, problem um, is the inverse. Okay, And notice how I just switched those around, because you can't graph x equals something like x equals negative y squared plus 3, so the inverse is y equals x, negative x squared plus 3. you got to remember to plug the x and y back into each other. So, see if that's 1 to 1 and to find its inverse. So I need to get um, x by itself. So in order to get this x by itself, I'm going to multiply, because I can't do anything when it's in the bottom. Um, 3x minus 2 to both sides, so I get 3x minus 2 times y equals 1. Now, I know some of you want to jump the gun and distribute, but remember, you want to get the x by itself. So I'm actually going to divide both sides by y, because when I do that, now I can try to get that x by itself. Now I'm going to add 2. So I got a 3x equals 1 over y plus 2. And then to get x by itself, all I'm going to have to do is divide by 3. But let's get a common denominator to push that all together. So if I multiply both the top and the bottom there by y, um, then I can push the top together to get one thing. To divide by 3 on both sides, it's like saying, hey, just put a 3 on the bottom instead of rewriting it like this. It's like saying multiply by a third, which, like I said way back here, just put the 3 in the bottom. So it's x equals 1 plus 2y over 3y. So I have to see if it's 1 to 1. Here's the original, and here's that. So to do this, I take this. I plug that in everywhere there's a y. So I get 1 plus 2 times all that. Well, it doesn't look like anything cancels out there, but I can put that 2 through to both. And this, because I have a fraction in the bottom, is like saying, um, first, let's um, combine the top together. So to do that, I put that over 1. And I'm going to find a common denominator of 3x minus 2. So it's 3x minus 2 over 3x minus 2, plus 2 over 3x minus 2. What I realize is the bottom is the same, but the negative 2 and plus 2 cancel. So I have this. Well, the bottom is 3 over 3x minus 2, so it's really, 
That's the top, and there's the bottom. If I flip that, because it's like saying multiply by the reciprocal, when I do that, these cancel out because they're the same. The threes cancel out then, so I do get x equals x. So, so far, so good. However, that was me plugging in, let's see, that was me plugging in for y. Now I need to plug in for x. I need to take all that and plug that in for x. Well, the 3 and the 3 would cancel, but I still have a y on the bottom. So the only way to do this is to separate, and notice how I divide each of those, and the reason why I'm doing that is the y's cancel. And then the 2's will end up canceling. So I get 1 over 1 over y, which is like saying, why don't you do 1 times uh, the reciprocal, and you end up getting y equals y. So you find out, yes, those are inverses of each other. They are 1 to 1. So that and that. So if you have any other questions or concerns, that was as tough as a problem you'll probably see on one-to-one -one functions. But if you have any other questions or concerns on solving these problems to see if they are one-to-one, -one, uh, please email me and let me know.